This is the giant glossy black pink leg millipede, Dendrostreptus macrocanthus. Possibly my all-time favorite hobby millipede species. They can reach eight inches in length. They are arboreal in nature. You can see those especially long legs, that core strength that this millipede is displaying there as it reaches out for the next limb or whatever it wants to crawl onto. And so shiny, dark, and then the contrasting pale legs and just watching those waves just rippling back and forth as the millipede moves. Fast moving and yes, very good climbers. <laughs> Just amazing how they can reach like that. And then they hold on so very well, even upside down like this. So one thing about this species here, if they are bothered just a little bit, one of their defense mechanisms is to give the supposed predator a mouthful of these probably very foul tasting droplets. And then over on this side of my hand, like many millipede species, they exude through pores this very noxious tasting and smelling substance. If you allow them to walk on you, they generally don't do it, but I was trying to pull the specimen off of myself in order to put it back in the tank. And there, now I've just done it again. Put this specimen right here, pulled it off the back side of my arm, and that's not blood. It's not my blood, it's not the millipede's blood, but, um, oh, check that out. You can see what great climbers they are. If there's even just the slightest bit of texture here in the sidewall of this tank, it could climb right up it. But here again, this, if I don't wipe it off very quickly, which I'll do anyway, this will be a tattoo, sort of a pinkish tattoo, and I'll show it again a little bit later as it develops, but it will stain my fingers for days to come. The secretions in this particular millipede species last for days in terms of how they discolor the finger, more so than other species. Now, you wouldn't want to get this in your eyes, nose, or throat, but you can wash off all but sort of the staining coloration on your fingers rather quickly and easily with soap and water. So I've got this 
cucumber here. I actually cut the peels off. You never know what kinds of pesticides or other chemicals might be on the produce you buy from the store. Even if it's organic, it can have organic pesticides on it. So I cut those peels off. And then I cut everything else up into more bite-sized pieces for the millipedes before just sort of spreading them out there on the surface of the substrate. Millipedes do love cucumber and melon, various kinds of squash. I'll put some leaf litter in there every couple of days for this species. I've got a nice amount of substrate in there, probably about three inches deep. There's a few more millipedes in this tank than I would generally keep in a tank this size. And so I will probably be moving them into a larger tank here very soon, now that they're all about four to five inches long. And maybe with five inches of substrate at that point, continuously put in a lot of organic matter for them since that is their food. And one of my little treats for them is oak flake soil substrate like this. And that I will also just sprinkle on top of the substrate. And all millipedes love this stuff. Sort of a secret ingredient, you could say. And also available on the website. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up, and please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.